Hey guys, I'm just checking my Facebook to make sure that I'm on here. So hang on a second. There I am. Hey Teresa. All right. Well, this is tonight's project. It's kind of simple. Hey. <laughs> Hey, back to our uh, conversation earlier. Um, has it been a while since you've stamped with rubber stamps? It was kind of weird for me at first when I first started ordering. Because like you, I thought I did the same thing. Hey, Rhonda. Yeah, Rhonda, we were just talking about, Teresa um, had purchased some uh, stamp sets and she's used to the clear stamp sets. So when she ordered the, um, uh, oh, I think Sunshine Sayings, um, and it came in the rubber and she thought she ordered clear, she thought that they'd sent the wrong thing. So yeah, I was kind of the same way too. It, it honestly was kind of weird for me to start using them again. But, you know, I kind of like, I mean, I love the clear stamps, you know, because you can see through them perfectly. Um, but I also like the way the rubber ones stamp out, too. So, it it's just the way they do it. They have some stamp sets that are available in the wood or the, you know, clear mount rubber or the photopolymer only. The, um, <laughs> it was, uh, I think either the, the photopolymer wasn't a choice. Some stamps, they don't have that choice. It's either clear or wood mount. <laughs> Do you already have your glass of wine, Rhonda? <laughs> Yeah, I guess, I guess I was spoiled with the, you know, the clear stamps coming from close to my heart. So I guess I just expected them all to be like that. But, but I love, you know, I love all the stamps the Stampin' Up! has, so I use what I can get. Yep, yep, that's what it is. I can't remember what my first set was that I ordered that I was like, whoa, this isn't clear. And then one time, um, I think it was with, oh, it was one of the celebration items. I didn't pay attention to the number that I put in, and so I ended up with a wood mount set. So it was an extra set, but I'm like, I don't even know, I don't even know how to stamp with wood mount anymore because I'm so used to, um, you know, stamping with the clear blocks. Hey, Monica, thanks. I thought I would keep it simple tonight. I have a hard time with simple. I don't know about you guys. I kept looking at it thinking, okay, it's cute, it's cute. But I feel like I still wanna add something to it, you know? <laughs> I had a friend who used to always tell me, especially when I first started scrapbooking, she'd say, keep it simple, stupid. Because it would always take me like 10 times longer than her to get my projects done, my scrapbook pages. So, okay, well, um, let's go ahead and get started at 7.05 so I can sit and chat all night. But, um, so this is it. And um, I, my little wine of choice tonight is this red wine that I'm kind of starting to get a little taste for. Um, my hubby got it from a client of his. So I think it's called The Prisoner. The bottle's kind of cool, so, and it's got kind of a good flavor. Oh, true. 
True, Rhonda. Yeah, give you something new to um, something to show your customers. I think I need to have that discussion. Um, I wasn't even thinking of maybe putting it in a you know one of my videos lately, just to kind of show people the difference. Because you know, yeah, like Teresa, I was really surprised when I made my first order. Oh, I bet it was. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it's fun. It is. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so, you know, I kind of wanted to just chat for a second. Um, and I don't know about you guys, um, but one thing I kind of wanted to talk to you or tell you, I guess as I'm stumbling trying to figure out the words, is... Um, I don't know, do you guys ever get into like a creative slump, you know, where you want to be creative, you want to go down and you want to play with all the paper and the stamps and everything else that you have in your, you know, collection, but do you ever just find yourself kind of not creative? Because that's how I felt like the past probably three days. I've just kind of, my creative mojo has been gone. Um, and so today when I came down here to try and put something together, it just, it wasn't happening. Um, and so, you know, a lot of times I'll go to Pinterest. Um, Instagram is a fun one for me to go to. Um, and I was thinking today, which I haven't done it yet, but I was actually thinking of going through even the catalog and just, you know, coming up with even recreating exactly what Stampin' Up! has done in that catalog. Um, just to kind of get some kind of something going. Yeah. <laughs> Teresa, five years now. <laughs> oh, shoot, that's funny. Yep, Rhonda, Pinterest or YouTube. And then I I follow some pretty crafty ladies on Instagram um, that kind of help. You know, sometimes on Instagram you can save the pictures now. So I have this little tiny folder that has a whole bunch of saved ones. And sometimes it's just um, a matter of even just a layout or the way, you know, they colored something or color combinations too. You do too, Monica. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I'm glad I'm not the only one. So that it makes me feel better. I'm <laughs> just like, where is it gone? You know, so I, I did kind of peruse. Um, I came up with a, a card for a video tomorrow. and um, But uh, I came down here and... Um, you know, for those of you guys who joined me on Sunday night and I had my 70s music on, I love listening to Disney music. I love Disney movies. I love going to Disney. I'm one of those people. So I came down here, I put my Pandora on my Disney station and I cranked it. And then I just, it, it kind of started happening. Yeah, the catalog does have good ideas. I need to just kind of... It, you know, instead of reinventing the wheel, just kind of going back and, and doing what the experts do. And then and then that kind of helps get things going. You've made 10 of the notebook covers. That is awesome. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, we have a really creative team. We do. Okay, so now that I have wasted another five minutes of talking, I just kind of wanted to go over that with you guys. And um, so this card here is actually a combination of a couple different demonstrators that I had seen. Um, and so I threw both of their ideas on here and then created my own, like added my own little touch to it. So um, one of them is uh, Melissa Miller, who's on my team and are on our team um, that I'm under through, uh, you know, Angie and, and Marissa. But um I can't remember where the other demonstrator came from. It was from another Facebook 
group that I'm in. But anyway, so I'll stop. Okay, I'll stop talking. But I did want to show you the other versions that I came up with once I made this because I thought, well, as long as I've got all of the colors from the Eastern Palace, um, I went ahead and made one up in each of the colors. So I'll wait till that kind of comes up on my screen to make sure that you can see them all. There, yeah. So I thought they turned out really pretty in each of the colors. Um, and then I decided to change up the uh, dapper denim and came up with this one. And then I'm like, why? Now I can't decide which one I like better. Because I kind of like the, um, you know, the white front. And then I ran out of the little small circles here, so I used stars. But I thought the stars still worked okay. So, thank you, Rhonda. Okay, so we're going to work with the one that is the Fresh Fig. And this takes very little time and very little paper as well. So, um, so I'll go over the supplies quick in case you guys, you know, don't know, but <laughs> I'm sure most of you guys know what they are. Um, Eastern Beauty and the Eastern Medallion Thin Lids dies. I'm not tired of it yet. I, might, I think I'm getting a little tired of the colors, but um, there's still a lot of possibilities with the dies and the stamp set. And then the layering circles, framelits, dies, and the stitch shapes. And you could certainly use, um, you don't need to use the stitch shape on here, um, but I like the way it looks. So, And then, of course, the Fresh Fig Stampin' Pad. And then I used this um, very vanilla quarter-inch ribbon from the Occasions Catalog. So, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just pull out my Big Shot and get to cutting. Hey, Penny. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I got the set. I, I really have. And there's, you know, again, when you go on Pinterest, <laughs> there is a ton of ideas. I saw one, um that was done up and they used the medallions to make it look like snowflakes. And so they did it in these really pretty kind of pink and blue colors. I thought that was really creative. And then I've seen some where they're, uh, they make sunflowers out of it. So I'm gonna move this over just a little so I'm in here. Um, and I'm gonna share a little thing with you guys that I learned um, today. Waiting for that to kind of come back in the screen. There it goes, okay. So I was just kind of throwing these um, dies on randomly. Um, I live in Nebraska. I live in Omaha. Um, so I oh so I was putting these in randomly, and then I realized that if you line them up specifically to match the points. Um, it looks pretty, it <laughs> looks better. So what I did is the point here, um, I made sure that this little triangle thingy lines up with that point. And it looks beautiful, you know, anyways, but it does make a little bit better of a design when you actually have it all lining up when the um, they all come together. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this through and then I'm going to come back and use this large um, I think it's the largest circle from the layering framelits the circles and I'm going to run that through Thanks, Rhonda. Um, I wish I had known that when I was just kind of randomly throwing them together. And, you know, I couldn't really tell a huge difference, but I bet you if I go back and compare it now, um, I could. So, all right, so now I'm going to take, um, and I think I'm just going to, I don't need this whole entire piece, so I'm just going to tear that on there. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the uh, circle 
and I'm going to put it in here so it's even around that scalloped edge. Um, I think I'm going to wait on this one though because I'm going to stamp on that first. Hey Val! Did you get the notification? <laughs> Val was struggling the last several times to come on, so um, she finally did it. Yay! All right, I'm going to throw this aside quick, and then I think I'm just going to use the inside of my circle, because I don't need it, uh, to stamp out the um, thank you. And, yeah, all right, and then bring this back in. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then I'm going to line this up um, so I have a little bit of space at the bottom of it because I'm going to stamp a little something in there. So I think that looks right. Okay, I think we're done with this now. So I hope you guys have had a good day so far and you're home relaxing now. All right. Then I'm just gonna take this little swirly thing and just add that at the bottom. I think that kind of adds just a little extra something on there instead of just having the thank you by itself. So, all right, now, this, I'm telling you girls, this card is really super fast and super simple, which is how I was able to make so many of them. Um, you know, oh, and there's, uh, that's not going to matter. Okay, I guess be careful if you have ink on your hands. Um, so... I don't know if you guys have ever paid attention or noticed, um, especially, you know, like on my videos too, but whenever I make a card, um, I, I don't know, maybe it's just user error, but I can never get my score line right when I score my card base, no matter how hard I, tr how hard I try. Hey Jan, good to have you. Um, and so I prefer just to fold it and then use my bone folder to crease it because then I know that my my um, you know my edges are going to match up just perfectly because there's nothing worse than you know putting all this effort into putting a card together and then your card is all wonky and then I also like to work with my card flat so even though I you know take the time and I fold it and I um, you know burnish it with my bone folder I like to lay it out flat. So then I have a flat surface to work on. Um, of course, we're not going to be doing that yet because I'm going to show you. But that's, you know, because when you sometimes when you have it like this and if it doesn't close all the way, then you're trying to fight it and staying down and sticking your paper. And so. Oh, my goodness, Rhonda. Oh, shoot. OK, well, hope you hope you get get it taken care of. Come back if you can. Um, so I don't have um, a corner rounder from Stampin' Up. Um, I had an old, old corner rounder from, it was probably 10 years old, um, and it finally died. But it died um, the week I had card class, because I had one on a Monday night, and then I had one on a Friday night, and I knew I wouldn't be able to get an order in in time, so I just ran to the store and grabbed this corner rounder. So, um Forgive me that it's not stamping up. So I'm just going to round the corners of my card base, which I don't usually do. I don't know. I can't remember where Rhonda lives. Is it? I don't know. Te Te Does Texas have scorpions or is that mainly like Arizona and that? Okay, so this is our piece that we um, cut out earlier. And then I'm just going to go ahead and round the corners of this too. I suppose I could get my project back here in the picture. 
I always end up throwing it completely out and I forget about it until it's Texas. Okay, I didn't realize they had um, scorpions in Texas. All right, so there's that. And then, um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our little circle that we cut out and with my, my new best friend, my uh, fine tip glue pen. I'm just gonna kind of go around here. You don't need a lot, just as kind of a small bead. Otherwise, it kind of starts to squish out when you put it down. So that, and it's gonna cover up some of the points of your little medallion, but I found that that didn't bother me as much. So that's just gonna go on top here and centered as best as you can get it. And then I'm just gonna hold this down for a second. Oh yeah, Penny. Um, it. I think I ordered it maybe, I don't know if I've had it a month, maybe two at the most, but I tell you what, I don't think I'll ever be able to live again without, use, without this fine tip glue pen. Because I used to always use those um, you know, the pens that like started off blue but then turned clear and you had to push down in order to get the glue out. This just comes out in a nice little tiny, you know, as much or as little as you need. And the other thing that um, I had uh, found out from uh, another demonstrator was you can use this like a, like a glossy effects or a liquid glass. So... I haven't tried that yet with this, but I'm going to. Oh, well that's good. At least they won't kill you. I wonder if it's kind of like a jellyfish sting. I've never been stung by a jellyfish, but um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop this up while I've got it here. And it just needs one little one in the center. And that's just going to go right here and our ribbon which I have thrown off to the side as well um, I'm just going to put some adhesive over here on the side approximately where I'm going to throw my ribbon and that's going to go set Oh my goodness. Okay, so hold on. I got to cut this down. I thought it was looking too long. I don't know what I was... Oh, I must not have cut this one down. All right, hold on. Bear with me. Uh, five and a quarter. I was like, that looks a little off. All right. <laughs> All better. Yeah, it is double duty and uh, way better than than using the um, the old ones. So, okay, well, let's round our corners again. That looks a little bit better. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Earlier, I had a card base I hadn't cut down, so it was, it was like four and a half inches. And when I went to go put my piece on, I'm like, that's not looking right. Okay, so now that you have that, I'm just going to pop it up. I swear I need to buy stock in these things because I use them on every single project and sometimes to put several different layers. <laughs> but I don't feel so bad that I'm the only one who does that. You guys make me feel so much better. <laughs> Maybe I should just craft with you guys every night. <laughs> okay. That was fun Sunday night. I need to do that again. So if you guys didn't, um, if you did or didn't see, I came on Sunday night just to have someone to talk to while I was paper crafting and that was a lot of fun. Okay, 
I'm getting distracted. Oh, I know this one. Sometimes I tie my bow on it, but I kind of liked the look of the bow just tied off of it and then stuck on with a glue dot. Okay, I will. So, um, what works, like, do evenings work better? Is there a certain, because I was thinking about coming on during the day, too, but I wasn't sure if, if anyone was at home during the days, or, hey, Chris. All right, so there's my little bow. I like this thinner ribbon because it, it's not as fussy when you're tying the, um, when you're making your bows. And I do have a little handy dandy thing that <clears throat> helps you make them, but I don't know, half the fun of it is the challenge of making. Okay, well cool. Then I'll pop on, uh, I'll pop on maybe in the next couple nights. That makes me smile. I wish you guys could see me instead of just my hands. I even, you know, I even went back the other day and um, just watched it and I found myself just giggling. Okay. Is it sad that I go back and watch, watch them? Oh, okay. Anytime except Friday. Cool. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, a little glue dot under here. And then the last thing, which I forgot, um, I forgot to set out was uh, the pearls. So hang tight for a second. Just look at the project. Oh, there they are. Okay. It was underneath of my... Um, uh-oh, that's okay. We'll talk to you later, Penny. We'll see ya. Well, thank you, Jan. Not too shabby, huh? I'll take it. Sometimes they don't always work out that way. <laughs> Gotta take the good ones when you can. All right, so I'm just gonna throw these pearls on here. Um, and the these pearls um, are... They have actually retired and are gone now, um, but Stampin' Up! is bringing back, um, like, better ones. So, and I've used all my medium ones, so now I'm kind of reduced to cutting these off of that little strip. But it still works. So, I'm just going to put a few down here, and um, I guess I'm kind of off to the center, or off of... Off to the side a little bit. I migrate over this direction. <laughs> All right. So if I can cut this, they're little. And then just a couple up here. And that, that's it. That's our project. Oh, you know what? I put it in the wrong place. I don't know. What do you think? Nah, I think it needs to be moved up. Thank you, Stacy. I know, Jan. I am too. It, it'll be nice. I At first, you know, when I saw that they were retiring these, I was like, no, don't retur retire them. I like the pearls and I love the sparkles. But then when I realized that they were coming back, you know, with just a better setup, or arrangement of them. I was, whew, I was happy. Okay. There. Better. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. All right. Well, this is it. Super, super simple. And I will, let's see, which one did I do it on? I think, no, or maybe it was this one. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's barely on there. But when I first did this one, I did put a little bit of the shimmer, uh, the Clear Wink of Stella 
around this, which just gives it a little teeny tiny hint of sparkle on it. I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen. Um, thank you, Jan. Um, the new product gets released. Well, for demonstrators, there's um, a pre-order that started yesterday um, for select items in the catalog, and then June 1st is when the, um, the new catalog and the new products get released. So I cannot wait. There are some super cute sets in there. Oh my goodness. And all the new ribbons and, oh, I'm going to go broke. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So I'll bring these back in. So let's see. We'll just kind of throw these in to the picture here. And then we'll just, I don't know, we'll throw that one on top. So. I think this was record time, guys. I'm off on my screen. I feel like I feel like this should be center. Maybe that's because this is center of my workspace. So it's going to bug me that they're not centered exactly on the screen now. So did you guys have any plans for any paper crafting this week or this weekend? Thanks, Jan. I'm happy you like, you know what I loved about these is, is they're just super simple. There's not a lot of, you know, fuss and embellishment and, but these medallions just, they just make it pop. Sometimes I need simple, you know. You craft on the weekend, Stacy. Yeah. It would make a good stack for a gift. Does it always work out for you to craft on the weekend, Stacy? <laughs> Sunday after church. Good. Oh, thank you, Lori. Thank you so much. There's the <clears throat> the fig one. All right, guys. Well, I suppose if there's no other questions or anyone want to chat. <laughs> oh, this would be perfect. Thank you, Jan. You too. Um, my project for my next video, which I'm going to be um, getting up hopefully tomorrow um, I ended up using it it's actually pretty simple too and I used all of the uh, 2016 2018 uh, in colors and they would make a really cute um, stack too so oh you're welcome Stacy thank you thanks for hanging out with me tonight thanks Rhonda all right, guys. Well, maybe I'll actually get and finish my wine and get a little bite to eat now. I'm so excited that you guys joined me. Thank you, Teresa. So I'll try and pop in in the next couple nights, just kind of for fun. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My husband's a dork. He's sending all sorts of likes. <laughs> oh, shoot. You're welcome. Thanks, Stacy. You too. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good weekend, week, evening. Night.